Hello everyone. Now we're going to know about strategic approach towards software testing. Developers are under great pressure to deliver more complex software on increasingly aggressive schedules and with limited resources. Testers are expected to verify the quality of such software in less time and with even fewer resources. In such an environment, solid, repeatable and practical testing methods and automation are a must. In a software development life cycle, bug can be injected at any stage. Earlier the bugs are identified, more cost saving it has. There are different techniques for detecting and eliminating bugs that originate in re respective phase. Various software testing strategies have been proposed so far. Different testing techniques are appropriate at different points in time. Under different circumstances, different testing methodologies are to be used. Now let us see verification and validation in software testing. Verification is a process to check the deviation of actual uh, results from the required ones. This activity is carried out in a simulated environment so that actual results could be obtained without taking any risks. Validation refers by the process of using software in a live environment in order to find errors. The feedback from the validation phase generally produces changes in the software to deal with bugs and failures that are uncovered. Validation may continue for several months. During the course of validating the system, failure may occur and the software will be changed. Continuous use may produce additional failures and the need for still more changes. Now let us see planning for testing. One of the major problems before testing is while planning. Because of natural reasons, a developer would like to declare his program as bug-free. But this does not essentially mean that the programmer himself should not test his program. He is the most knowledgeable person with context his own program. Therefore, he is always responsible for testing the individual units of the program, ensuring that each module performs the function for which it was designed. In many cases, the developer also conducts con also conducts integration testing, a testing step that leads to the construction of the complete program structure. Only after the software architecture is, a complete, is complete does an independent test group ITG become involved. ITG tests the product very thoroughly. Both the developer and the ITG should be made responsible for testing. First, developer should test the product, after that ITG can do it. In this case, since the developer knew that there are other people who will gain test, who will again test their product, they will conduct tests thoroughly. When developer and ITG work together, the product is tested thoroughly and unbiased. Now let us look at few of the testing strategies. Once it is decided who will do the testing, then the main issue is how to go about testing. This, that is in which manner testing should be performed. As shown in the figure, first unit testing is performed. Unit testing focuses on the individual modules of the product. After the integration, then after that integration testing is performed. When modules are integrated into bigger program structure, the new errors arise often. Integration testing uncovers those errors. After integration testing, other higher order tests like system tests are performed. These tests focus on the overall system. Hence, system is treated as one entity and tested as a whole. Thank you.